let's get right to it. The city of San Francisco, they're banning the sale of all flavored tobacco products. The city's board of supervisors passed the uh, bill. It was unanimous. It was introduced by San Francisco supervisor Malia Cohen, who says flavored tobacco products are marketed disproportionately towards blacks and other minorities. She joins us right now. Malia, how you doing? Hey, good morning, everyone. All right, so flavored cigarettes. What are, what, what's yeah, what's flavored? what's what's flavored tobacco? What is that? What is Good that? question. So flavored tobacco is everything from chicken and waffles and syrup flavored tobacco to cherry tobacco, gummy bears, uh, menthol. All of it is considered flavored tobacco. And this is a thing. Yeah, oh, this is a big thing. It's actually, unfortunately, a huge thing, particular, particularly in what they call vulnerable communities, communities like African Americans, Latino, and even the LGBT community. So, so what? You went, you went to various stores there, and you saw so much flavored tobacco. You said, you know what? We got to outlaw this. Actually, it's not so. It, it's not so easy. It's actually uh, a piece of legislation that passed in, unanimously. Uh, about a month ago in San Francisco. Um, statistically speaking, 81% of African Americans start uh, with menthol. And menthol is interesting because what it does is it cools and it numbs the throat. And so it gives you a cooling sensation as you suck down the nicotine and um, all of the cancerous uh, particulates. So it's, 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 it's false, it gives you a false sense of, fee, of feeling good. And so they mask these, the, um, the flavor of, of, of um, tobacco with chemicals. And these chemicals are, have different types of flavors. So when you were doing your research, you found these products in largely minority neighborhoods, but not in white neighborhoods. That's right. And you know, actually the same product that is sold in uh, communities of color are severely discounted. So the same menthol Newport pack that's sold in, in, in the hood is uh, reduced. Uh, and more wealthier and affluent communities, it's, um, it's at a higher price. And how big of a business is this? Are we talking billions? You know, it's interesting because the city and county of San Francisco actually spends $380 million on cancer-related um, diseases. Now, statistically speaking, the, the cost of uh, cigarettes have driven the price of, um, the, the, the cost of cigarettes have gone up, so the usage has gone down. And so retailers, the corner store, your liquor stores, they're actually selling less cigarettes uh, and that's here in the state of California, as well as in San Francisco. One of the things that, that, that jumps out again to that particular point, because of the tobacco lawsuits in the 90s, uh, oh, yeah. we saw, again, they were banned from all sorts of advertising. Uh, people also are living, living, living healthier lifestyles. So the tobacco industry is trying to figure out how to make that money up. And so this seems to be one of those ways they're, they're doing so now. So, so many people are vaping as well. Uh, so it seems as if they're trying to make some sort of comeback. Uh, and, there's, and are they still targeting young folks, largely African-Americans, with these products? Yes, absolutely. If you actually look at some of the commercials and you actually go into this liquor store or, or in a smoke shop, you will see how they are packaging these types of products, specifically targeting young people. And when you look at the data, the data actually reveals that it is uh, that eight, people that are under 18, when they start smoking, they actually start with menthol and or other flavored tobacco. It is marketed towards um, our community. And um, you know, my ordinance that I introduced really is about protecting our community and our health. Um, the tobacco industry is not gonna do it for us. And so it's really about uh, stepping up and doing it for ourselves. And our, go ahead, Silva, go ahead. Uh, music videos, television and movies as well, as far as their marketing is concerned for our young All people. All, all of the above, you even have some former elected African-American leaders prominent in our community that have been hired by the tobacco industry to uh, discredit the science and to, um, to, to be the front person when they start to negate all of the data and all of the science saying that tobacco doesn't kill. I mean, we've seen this playbook uh, and this play uh, since the 80s. Uh, the tobacco industry, they, once their customer dies, they need to find new customer base in order to keep their bottom line and keep their margins um, fat. So that's why they're targeting young people, getting them addicted, 
and then keeping them as customers for their entire life. Are and you hoping are you hoping other city councils will follow your lead? Are you talking to uh, black city council members in other cities and black mayors saying they should pursue the same action? Let me tell you, absolutely. The city of Oakland is going to be passing or voting on a similar piece of legislation earlier this week. There is a Contra Costa County, which is in the East Bay and Alameda County. Um, they passed a similar piece of legislation last week. So here in California, we're doing it on the city and county level. And it is slowly but but surely gaining momentum, which is why now you see R.J. Reynolds backing a referendum against my ordinance to be on the June ballot of next year. And you also caught lots of hail for this uh, as well. I did. I mean, the, the, the big community is really, really strong and, and quite upset. What I find ironic is, is that a lot of them are from Kentucky and in the Midwest, um, and they're just blowing up my Twitter. Yeah, because you're messing with their stock price. <laughs> well, I'm not messing with their stock price. I'm messing with the product that they're addicted to. You see, in the state of California, uh, vaping is considered tobacco, and a lot of the vapes come in different flavors, grape, watermelon. Uh, like I said, they got a chicken and waffle flavor. I mean, who are they targeting? This is just, it's ridiculous. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't gonna cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.